Let's grab these berries. And let me make sure... Did I miss a level up at the end? I, I sometimes get distracted and miss them. I did not. Pokeball! She didn't need to use a... Oh, whatever. I'll use Repel. Good post game for the Pokemon games. Became infamous for really trimming it down beyond just catching more Pokemon improving teams. Yeah. I, I agree. The worst part is right when I got to the point where I, as a gamer, wanted challenging post games that was pretty much around the time they stopped doing it and I also wish that they kept the black and white difficulty system that they ha had a hard mode going forward okay I'm a little worried uh, we're gonna take a risk we're super effective it's It's, what's it doing? Bind. Okay, well now we can't switch. Now we're committed. I don't think we can switch out if we want it now. So, but I think we're fine. Let's mock punch with the attack power up. Yeah, we're fine. Hard mode, but yeah, didn't lock it. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but at least they had a hard mode. I wish that they had hard modes going forward. Preferably from the start, but that's still better than nothing. What was dumber is having an easy mode that for white version that you had to beat the game to unlock it. Like, if you beat the game, then you already don't need the easy mode. <laughs> easy mode was just so dumb, like, it's fine for them to have an easy mode, but like, an unlockable easy mode? That you had to beat the game? It was just, wow. Out of all the dumb choices Game Freak has made, that might have been, like, the dumbest. <laughs> might as well not exist. That being said, I'm not hating the, this game. Like, I'm doing a file on my own as well as this file on stream. This one's a Nuzlocke. And I'm enjoying it. I just... It's not the best. It's not the worst Pokemon game, though, either. And if they combine easy mode with experience share and friendship with the I mean, to be fair, I know people who aren't like gamers that play Pokemon, and they still think this one's pretty tough. And I mean, the Elite Four actually can be brutal in this one if you don't like, let yourself over level or anything. But that's mainly because just Cynthia has a very well built team. And Cynthia also has, I believe, perfect IVs. She doesn't have EVs like people seem to think, but she has perfect IVs. Which, the average player, even if they do competitive, isn't going to do IV breeding in their, like, story playthrough. <laughs> like the experience share, because it means don't have to go through hours of grinding the hell Uh, I l like it, but I wish it was an option for something like Nuzlocke's. I wish it was just something I could turn on and off at will. Uh, okay, we'll switch out Thundershock, because you are not a special attacker, Shanks. Like, I genuinely feel that experience share should remain, because there are a lot of casual players that it's simply, they, it would make the game too tedious for them, or too frustrating for them to take out. But it should be an option. Like, diff we just, that's all I'm asking for this series is difficulty options. Mm -hmm. 
this game is still like definitely better than X and Y in my opinion, but that's my least favorite main entry. And I mean, like I said, I'm still enjoying it. I don't think there's a mainline Pokemon game I outright never enjoyed. I'm kind of worried about this pip level. Levels at 14. Still a little worried. Uh. Who? I want to make sure I don't switch into something bad. Who has better special defense? You have 25. You have better special defense, Bidoof? Okay, I mean, if you're sure you do. Uh. Yeah, X and Y, like, X and Y did some things good. The pacing wasn't great. The post game was probably the worst in the series. Like, even the games after that still have kind of bare bones post game have more post game than X and Y. Uh. It just, there is, there is numerous things I find issue with X and Y. Okay, well, nice. It got poisoned off the poison points. Yes. Post game was just one town and the battle facility was, was way, long way away from the battle for Yeah, plus X, X and Y came right after Black and White too, And like, Gen... Four and five are like the height of post game. Like it had a ton of post game, and then we got X and Y, and there was nothing. I was like, "What is, what is this?" I was so starved for post game that X and Y was the first one I completed the national decks since like Gen One, I think. <laughs> Usually, I never bothered with it, but like I had nothing else to do in X and Y, so I just to the national decks and then I was like okay well now there's really nothing to do like say what you want about sword and shield the dens at least are interesting I had fun playing with friends flame wheel finally a physical attack fire move okay. Wait, did I just read I clicked really quick. Did, did he actually have a higher special attack? No, he's not a special attack, right? Like, Sword and Shield? Yeah, I, I... I make it flag from the people, but I enjoyed Sword and Shield. I still, I still think it has its flaws. Okay, it, does, it is a special attacker. Yeah, I do think it has its flaws. The story was just so bland it felt like everything happened off screen for most of the game and I didn't get to see what the story was that was happening and then just was there suddenly at the end the uh let's see there's definitely the difficulty thing that they've had ever since they went to 3D and had the experience share there was uh my mind's kind of blanking oh, sorry I'm Focused on two things. Uh, yeah, the ro the roster. Yeah, sure. I mean, I I'm not somebody who cared too much about uh, Pokedex being cut down. Uh, the DLC was essentially the post game. I agree. There was like no post game. Well, next to none. There was. Uh, I did love the gym leaders. The gym leaders were cool, and I loved the new Pokemon added. I wish it had stuff, more stuff like caves and traditional routes that, were, like, it didn't have much in terms of that, much exploration. My name is Cheryl. You are okay, so your name is Shad. I'm so sincerely glad to meet you. Shad, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through the forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety numbers. May I please go with you? Well, you didn't give me a choice, but okay. Keep Pokemon in perfect health. Uh, the the uh, animations, I will agree, were 
bad. I mean, they've been bad for, since we went to 3D. It just was most noticeable because we are now playing it on HD systems. And I'm not... I, I wish they would focus, especially if they're cutting the decks. I wish they would focus more on... Oh, I'm stuck walking! Oh no, my character's walking endlessly! <laughs> A few routes in case of dungeons to explore. Yeah, because it's all in the wild area. But the wild area is like, not like you don't have to get through it. It's like caves and dungeon kind of thing. That was something that like there'd be challenge there, and the, the way the wild area set up set up there isn't. Okay, we have we can nickname our Manaphy that we might not use for a while. Hey Justin, do you have a nickname for Manaphy? <laughs> But yeah, the animations did stick with me. That was something I just kind of felt like at this point. Uh, Gala? Okay. That works. Uh, we are not going to keep it in the party though. It's going to be a backup. I don't want to d dig into the mythics unless we really need it to fill out the roster. So for now... No, I don't really want... I, I, I want... Sheila. Oops. Uh... Oh, hey, Inheritance. You support Gala of 1010. Uh, how are you, Inheritance? Uh, I didn't care about the Pokedex cut either that much, except for the Gen 2. Four, five, and six stars, most of what they cut were just pillar. I mean, yeah. And I... I'm of the opinion that there's more important things for them to put their resources in than having all 9,000 Pokemon in every generation. I, I, I'm for an, a cycling roster. I just want them to use the resources elsewhere like improving animations or having more interesting stories we're just on a power walk which cool you may ask no i'll tell you anyway bug pokemon okay double battles the bane of any nuzlocke because they can team up on my pokemon and it can be bad good just lurking hope you have a great stream eating it out no worries, Inheritance. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, okay, Flame Wheel. We'll, God. I guess we'll get rid of the Wurmple first, because I know we can. This, she's the Bug Catcher's one more Pokemon. Not to add more animation to the Pokemon themselves. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, in battle. Like, Pokemon only have like a handful of animations each that they use for different attacks and often they don't make sense. And it'd be nice to see Pokemon make contact with each other in battle. I understand the complexities of why they don't. I don't care if it looks a little janky just to kind of have it. But heck, at this point, like I feel like Stadium had some better animations than the main line games. Like a battle. I, I actually haven't played Battle Revo Revo yeah. Revolution. I wasn't super interested in buying it since it was it was like a really watered down stadium. I'd love it if they uh if they had another game similar to Coliseum or XD. Pokemon run up, run up into each other to do attacks? Oh, that's... Yeah, sure, like that. Like, I don't mind a little jank, I just want them to have a little more to their animations. And that's ultimately where the area I think Game Freak failed with Sword and Shield is them having to lie and say that the animations were the reason that they cut the decks. Uh, I just realized Sheila's not in the little thing in there. Uh, 
And I understood they kind of did that, I think, because they were worried about backlash when they said they were cutting the decks, but they got backlash anyways. They should have just accepted, like, just been like, hey, we can't do the whole decks anymore. We're going to focus on other stuff. I don't know. I, I feel like eventually we're going to get better animations. I just wonder when that'll be. Give them some more life, like, yeah. Like, if they- when they use sprite work, like the- the older games, the animations are fine the way they are, because they're sprites. And honestly, I love the- the way they did animations with the sprites. They- those were cool. But if we're gonna go with 3D, especially with the HD graphics, it becomes noticeable when when they kind of skimp on that. But that's that's a little too much focus on animation. That wasn't even my biggest gripe. Like, honestly, probably my biggest one was story. Because black and white was just like the peak of Pokemon storytelling. And they've gone... I don't want to say they've steadily gone hill, sent down to, downhill since then because... Sun and Moon had a better story than X and Y. X and Y, though, probably still had a better story than Sword and Shield, because Sword and Shield, most of the story didn't happen on screen. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, might be accessible. Let's power up Punch. Okay, I'm glad I did that, because I might might need the attack boost to finish it off next turn. And I'm glad that it's focusing on Chansey. Not that we're actually in danger from this, I don't think. It's also better than Sword and Shield, since it doesn't combine everything to off-screen. Uh, which is... Oh, X and Y's. Yeah, that's... That's why X and Y's is, because, like, it didn't happen off-screen. And, like, I... I still think X and Y's story was, like, just ridiculous. I don't think Team Plasma or Lysander had very logical motivations, even in terms of Pokemon villains. Oh, Sun and Moons is better than- oh yeah, Sun and Moons is better than X and Y. Sun and Moons is the best out of th the 3D gens. Out of 6, 7, and 8, Sun and Moon had the best. And honestly, Sun and Moon had better than Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I hate to say. Because, like, uh, what's her, how do you pronounce her name? Lysamine? Lysamine? She was, it was just goofy. It, it didn't make much sense in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I liked Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for various quality reasons, but the story was a little, a little lower than the original Sun and Moon's. Okay, Paralyze Heal. Cool. Okay. We are going to cheese every battle we can here because, as I said, double battles are a risk in Nuzlocke. So we are going to split this double battle into two. Because you can if you just talk to them. We won't get help from our partner, but that is fine. There's... It's better than having two Abras that decide to both focus on George, and I just realized I should not have had George out of the front with a Psychic. Uh, let's get you out of here. Honestly, Shanks, you had Bite. But yeah. Either way. So all, all that aside, I still did enjoy my time with Sword and Shield, especially once the DLC hit and I could do the uh, Max Raid Dens with friends.
Lalisa, level 20. Uh, let's bump you up to 20. Give you the 2 HP. And George is level 20. Give you the 2 HP. Now this one friend is fortunate. What, you watched and streamed the game last month? Uh, what, they didn't enjoy Sword and Shield, you mean? Since I know this is a psychic. Uh, that's a shame. I know uh, Shellshock Prime and said he enjoyed uh, he has sword. He said he enjoyed it. He hasn't done the DLC yet. But uh, yeah, I, I'm some people didn't enjoy it and at the very least I hope like I prefer people who at least gave it a shot before deciding they didn't enjoy it, because a lot of people just already were set on not enjoying it before they played it. They were just like, especially people upset about the dex cut that they were just, right from the front, the start, they were just like, no, this is awful, and they refused to actually give it an honest shot. You land blast the theme, especially the story all the way through, and you especially hated Hop. I, I mean, I don't like Hop. Hop actually is my probably my least favorite uh, rival in the series. I just... Hop felt like... Hop, like, same kind of energy as How, except for... Or, like, he... The same kind of... Ba he was bad at battles as, as much as How. But... Hop actually wanted to be a good trainer. And it was just frustrating like his AI made him really dumb too in battles hop was one of the few characters in the game that I actually didn't really like why am I saving I have auto save on oh crap I just realized we didn't get an encounter yet and oh uh, know what I'm repelling we're gonna come back for our encounter because it's gonna be really hard with the double battle to get our encounter, and I don't want to. Used to go through a character arc, but way too similar to how in his earlier moments. And saw, yeah, agreed. Uh, he does at least have character arcs, or not character arc, and some rivals don't have that. Uh, uh I should have switched back. It's not a psychic Pokemon anymore. But. E even uh, even with that, like no character is gonna have a no rival is gonna have a better character arc than Silver. Silver had the best character arc in the series, but I suppose it's not worth comparing <laughs> them to Silver. Like it doesn't seem like Game Freak really wants to do rivals that are like jerks anymore. Which, fine. I don't need all, every rival to be, to be a jerk. But... I don't know. Like, I even preferred X and Y's rivals. Because at least each of them had, like, some sort of personality. I felt like Hops was very bland. It was just like, I wanna, I wanna be the best. That's it. And, like, that's what most rivals are already want by default on top of other stuff like Barry in this game wants to be the best and honestly I felt Hops the end of his story like is the end of his arc was kind of disappointing to me because it ended up him basically being like oh well not everybody's made to be good at battles, so I'll just pick a different thing, and hey, research it seems cool. And it just kind of felt like... I don't know, like, I get the concept that's like, oh, he want, just wanted to be like his brother, and he realized he's not his brother, kind of thing, but still. 
it felt like he kind of settled for something else when that would never really felt implied that he had another interest. Okay, put short George back at the front. I feel safe with George. Okay, looking at the time, at, well, I'm pretty certain we're going to get to the second gym, but we're definitely not making it to the third. Not that I thought we would, because there is a pretty, pretty lengthy amount of time between the second gym and the third gym in, in, uh, so no. Like, that's one thing I noticed both when replaying the originals and when doing this, is that the pacing of... Uh, di the Diamond and Pearl games are very odd in terms of the gems. Not that I hate it, I don't think they need to all be evenly paced. It's just compared to the other games, it has a really weirdly paced gems. Um, Sheila's. 13. Sheila's like more or less in usable territory now, but she's still noticeably behind everybody else. Cascoon. Okay, uh, keep it. I mean, Sheila's remaining leveling up for later, because Sheila's not going to be useful in the second gym anyways. I know Swarm is a Pokemon ability. Up. Potion. Might as well. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do Pokemon. Let's put Shanks back in the lead. I will say, I'm not sure how his name is pronounced, Bead, uh, from Sword and Shield. He was a more interesting rival than Hop, at least. Like, and I liked his arc. His story arc was t took an interesting twist when he became uh, the fairy gym leader. Especially because, like, most of his Pokemon that were psychic were also fairy. And I do, do think Sword and Shield has my favorite batch of gym leaders. Uh, in the series. Yeah, we're, we're doing as little double battles as possible. Okay, Rachel. With a Psyduck. Well... That's not a Psychic Pokemon, though it can have Psychic moves, and it's still not a problem because Shanks is electric, so it worked out. Rock Woman, level 20, okay. Only downside about this is I'm into update the roster manually every time somebody levels up. Something strange about it, yep. Okay, I'll switch 
George back in the front. I just don't feel comfortable having him in the front when we're fighting psychics. Uh, this way. Chara honey. No, I think we're done with the forest. Yeah? Yep. Liz X, I'm sorry, Lee, finally got here. I've never been able to make get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Shad. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, now we can get our encounter for the forest. We can safely have our encounter. And it is up Dupe's Claws. They're not catching the Badoo. So we'll just run from the Badoo and try another encounter. And it's a Wurmple. Uh, cool. Unfortunately... Oh, first of all, I think I just have to throw a net ball because I think we'll one-shot it if we try to attack, weaken it. I was gonna say, unfortunately... Whatever Badoo becomes is already probably not even gonna be helpful. Or whatever Wurmple becomes, so we're probably not gonna... Wurmple's like a really a worst case scenario Pokemon now. H having the uh the bug Pokemon of the game. Name it potato? Do we not have a I get maybe we don't have a potato. Okay, we'll name it potato. Love to eat Lee's. If it's attacked by Starly, we'll defend itself with the spiked rear. Potato. Mash it, mash it, boil it, put it in a stew. Oh, Petra Berry. Uh, sure. Unfortunately, catching a bug Pokemon like this before the or after the first gym, especially this far in where like it's well past when it should have be fully evolved. It's not really worth using. Did we not have... I felt like we had a Pokemon named Potato, but I guess not. No, but we have a Heinz. Heinz could go with Potato. Okay, well, there's Potato, the Wurmple that is really our last case scenario. Oh, and I have to update the uh, Root Tracker. To we caught Eterna Forest. And is 205 new? Or is 205 the same route as down there? <laughs> Glad you're happy, Inheritance. Uh, oh, okay. We did do a 205, I believe. Let me just verify. That should be... Uh, You, I believe, are the 205 catch? Yeah. So we have one already for this room. Uh... In that case... We'll just keep going. Is there any... Items up there? No. Anything down here? And this is just some cut stuff, right? Some trees to cut. Yeah. Okay. Let me... Let me talk to you. Oh, uh, you don't even have any... Oh, wait! No, I have George in the front of the party. It's Fisherman. What am I doing? Actually, I think this guy has a Magikarp. No, he has a Goldeen! Just like in real life, potatoes can always be useful in a pinch. I... I'm not about to say that Wurmple is going to ever be useful. But... He may be something we use in a pinch. Uh, oh, frick! 
Okay, okay, god, I forgot that Goldeen can learn a freaking flying move, but I'm glad it doesn't hurt, hurt us much. That scared me. Okay. Water Pulse, that's even less worrisome, unless you confuse me. I hate you. I don't want to switch out, we'll just... Okay, cool. And Badoof is back to full health. And Badoof is level 20, I wish it would evolve already. Come on, Badoof. Uh, this is these all magic carps, right? Yeah. As soon as I saw six Pokemon, this is the meme trainer that they have in every game that has six magic carp. This one's a level twenty magic carp. Or no, that is level ten. Okay, I misread. I thought it was a level twenty. I was gonna be like, why have you not evolved your magic carp, sir? Shanks level twenty. Oh. I didn't see how much HP 58. Okay. Update the uh, the overlay. There we go. Yep, Bidoof. Just get them all one by one. Pretty much a waste of time, dude. Why do you have six Magikarps? And they're, these are all like level 10. They're all level 10. All they have are Splash, sir. Sheila, level 14. Absorb. Magic Carp. So thrilling. Absorb. Carp. Final one, absorb. Now, sir, wasn't that battle a colossal waste of time? Yes, you should have been a little more serious about this. Give me your six dollars and get out of here. Okay, fish up some tough Pokemon. Well, they can't- they gotta be tougher than the previous guys. Zachary. A Magikarp. Oh. Okay. <sighs> and it's also level 10. Goldeen, there we go. There's something that- I, oh wait, I should have switched. I have a flying move, dang it. Uh, it's not gonna get problems, level 13. 
but also supersonic. Monster and Tail Whip. It's the least amount of worries. Magikarp. Oh boy. Okay, well, I think that's the last trainer on this route, which I think means that we're about to reach the gym. Yeah, losing out of your emotions and I'll knot it up. Got it. Your feet are tangled. Cool.